Hey there, welcome to day 824 of What's She Up To Now. My lights are flashing, I guess they're just going to be off. Uh, today, day 824 of What's She Up To Now. She, Sharon Horn Nelson here at your service, documenting the journey as I transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world. Spent over a quarter century in corporate America, yep, I'm that, way over that old, 47 years in at least 27 different businesses and industries. So I've been involved in a lot of things. Most of them really successful. Some of them epic failures and disasters, which I actually was learned the most from, right? I have learned over my decades that I learn the most and change the most and grow the most from the stuff that doesn't work out for me. The, the things that are challenges, obstacles, problems that I didn't think I was going to survive. Those are the things that have taught me the most. So today I am talking about <clears throat> and I'm on day two of a and kind of a groundbreaking training. It's a live uh, interactive. It's not, a, it's not, well, it's live and it's interactive and it's event. It's a virtual event. Um, Pete Vargas III and his Advance Your Reach group is doing a three day event. Yesterday was day one, today and then today and tomorrow all day. We're doing uh, a live interactive Zoom event with, there's like 2,200 people on it. And then we do breakout rooms, which <clears throat> I've actually found the most valuable. I think that, you know, the lecturing's awesome and the, and the presentations are good, Pete and Pat Quinn are doing them. And it's all about, you know, the importance of, of sharing your message and, you know, your signature speech and things. And so right up my alley because it's something that I've needed to focus on and work on for a really long time. So I'm in there and I'm learning and I'm observing and participating full out to apply what I'm learning. There's no sense learning, 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 learning. And I've been guilty of this. I've learned and learned and learned so much stuff and kind of half-heartedly applied it over the last couple of years. And I am committing to myself that I am done with the half-heartedly applying. And that's why I'm excited to be participating in this because I want to do an event like this. I think it's incredible. I think it's really valuable. I think people can make massive massive um, shifts and get incredible results by participating in things like this. But I think it needs to be a workshop on a, on a smaller topic. Um, they're doing a huge topic and I get why they're doing it. They're doing this big thing and, and just touching the surface of everything so that they can offer a high ticket coaching program or high, I think they have high ticket workshops that they do. They do like nine and ten thousand dollar or eight to ten thousand dollar workshops <clears throat> at the end of their events. I get that. That's the business model. That's what everybody does. So <clears throat> I want to do one of these events and I want to do one of these events really, really soon. So I'm in participating so that I can learn how can I use this and how can I apply this to my life? Because I've wanted to do events for a long time, but I wanted to do them um, for groups of people that might not be able to actually go to a physical event. I am legally blind now, so for me to go to events has gotten to be a real royal pain in the rear, right? I can do it, but I have to really pick and choose what I'm gonna go to and what I'm gonna attend physically once COVID goes away. Um, because it's just, it's a hassle, it's a major hassle. Now last year I did go on the gym boat, which was awesome, but I also knew that there were people there that would help me when I needed help. And that's that's kind of the thing. I hate asking for help. I want to do everything myself. And so that is, is a challenge for me. So I want to do one of these events. So I'm there to learn how to do it so that I can duplicate it as well, right? Uh, super interesting, really powerful process. Uh, and I can see that it will be the wave of the future because people, events are going to open up again. The world's going to open up again but it will be different and forever changed. And I think that this is gonna be one of the ways that people in the future actually participate and interact with one another. Um, that's a kind of a combination of the old events, the old live events, and the marrying with technology. So it's fun to watch and see what the technology can do. Um, Get up and go challenge, day 30 was yesterday. Today I should be doing a summary day but I didn't, I wanna go through and just do a quick highlight of, of the 30 days and summary and lessons learned to, to bring it full circle for people. But since I'm in this three day intensive and my granddaughter's coming, I am going to put that off till Sunday. And I told the people in the group yesterday that I would probably do that. Gives them a few days to catch up if they got behind 
or to go back over and review some of the lessons that they might have missed that they want to participate in. Plus, it buys me a couple of days. I'm doing this, this three-day event, plus I'm still in the 30-day challenge, and I'm in another challenge that I'm just kind of auditing and listening to because <clears throat> I have discovered that four challenges simultaneously is a little bit too many, especially when one of them, well, when one of them is my own that I'm leading, when one of them is one that involves reading, right? I'm, I'm doing a, a 30 books in 30 days reading challenge. And I have to admit that what is pushing the envelope of my capability. I have to get one of those like, remember in school, in high school, or I probably had them in grade school when they had those opaque machines, when you could put a book or something into a machine and it would project it up onto the big screen. I have to get one of those and find a white wall where I can actually project things like books up onto the screen so that they're giant and I have some hope of of capturing some of the information and reading them. Or <clears throat> I bet they have those now. I, I could probably put them up on the big screen TV and then and zip through them in some way, shape, or form. Because uh, most things are electronic nowadays. I need to explore more blind activities and more blind tools, right? I haven't done it. I've been putting it off, just like I put everything off like that uh, <clears throat> to find solutions. But so far I'm still, still making it, but I will have to start looking at more and more of those things. I know that I need to. So that's what I'm working on. Um, day 115 of the fun challenge, doing one fun thing every day for 365 days. This year, everybody have, like has a word of the year, and I don't really pick a word of the year, but I kind of pick a thing or a direction of the year. And 2020, my beginning of the year before COVID and everything, my thing was to have more fun because last year I did do one thing every day that makes you happy. And I shared every day something that makes me happy or something that an activity out of actually reach down here. Oh, of course, it's not the one I grabbed. <clears throat> yes, everyone should have unicorn post-it notes on top of their notebooks. But I last year we did do one thing every day that makes you happy. Obviously, we used the book a lot because the cover's worn off. Uh, but every day we would go through and we would look at what was the little challenge to, to do something that made you happy. year before that was do one thing every day that scares you. Obviously, again, well-worn book. And then this year I decided I was going to do one fun thing every day. And... It's kind of been perfect for the situation that we're in, right? Because every day we need to look for something that makes us feel happier, that makes us feel fun, that, that we have fun with, right? So it's helped me with my granddaughter. We do one little fun activity today. Today is a photo gallery day. So we take pictures of your BFF upside down. I can't remember what else. It's a photo bomb. And then there was one more, but it doesn't matter. It's just fun activities, fun things to do to take our mind off the other stuff that might be weighing us down, right? And no matter who you are, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter how bad your situation is, if you can take a couple seconds to just have some fun, that will help, right? It helps me anyway. Uh, don't be a rat, not don't be a rat. Smell a rat was the idiom today that we talked about in my Facebook Live and on Supersize Your Business. And how do you apply that to business? Well, I find I'm trying to use the format that I'm learning in the A360i training that I'm in. And so what I did is I tried to go a little bit more into some things Pat Quinn taught us about how to present your message. And I didn't do very well. I, you're supposed to do this story grade and I'm gonna practice that and get better and better at that. So you'll probably start seeing it as I change in format and try to be more on purpose with the content and the information that I share. But I did do the three things of content and, and repeated them and called them out. So I'm practicing the things that I'm learning, I guess is the whole point. And that's what we need to do. There's no sense learning if we're not going to apply what we learn or if we're not going to let it become a part. Well, I guess everything we learn does become a part of us, whether we let it or not. Or we can try to resist it. But once we learn something or see something or are exposed to it, it goes into our subconscious. And someday when we need it and we're ready to use it, it'll bubble up and we'll use it. That's it. That's all I've got today. Have an awesome day. Uh, oh, it's the 1st of May. Hey, hey, 1st of May. Something, something happens today. But it probably won't because of COVID-19. Who knows? Who knows? That's a story for another day. Have an awesome day. Uh, that's a human story where it was, yeah, that, that's definitely a story for another day. Have a great day. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.